the metal twisted G-Shock. Quite a thing, quite a piece of engineering, but there's also more than just metal. There's also carbon reinforced resin to keep the brand new module inside this watch completely safe. You might have noticed that the MTGB3000 is a completely new designed watch. It is slimmer, it is smarter, it is just better. You might call these a revolutionary evolution of the MTGB2000. For your information, I really liked the MTGB2000 series, especially the wild ones, the Blue Phoenix, for instance, or all the other eon-plated wild expressions of Japanese crazy watchmaking. This MTGB3000 in a, well, I would say the most traditional looking guys, so it's not black, it's just the metal color, there are no funky colors, is a serious G-Shock. Still, serious G-Shock, how serious can you be with a watch like this? It's a fun watch, but the way this one is made is very, very serious. Here comes the serious angle. So there is a completely new 3D designed case back and that case back as you can see, also forms the crown guards and the guards for the pushers. And then there's the bezel with the four large screws, also a new design. It does make the whole thing look very, very industrial. And Casio did more than just redesign the case, they also redesigned the bracelet. And it has a very smart feature because push the two pins on the side and you can easily swap the bracelet. And the bracelet itself is also new. There's a combination of, well, as you can see, and here metal, but there's also resin on the inside, making it very, very comfortable on your wrist. When you quickly look at the new MTGB 3000, you think it's a large, clunky, a uh, bold, maybe even exuberant watch. But if you get, if you zoom in closer, if you zoom in closer, even closer, then you might actually find that the craftsmanship and the detailing is of a very, very, very high level. The new 3000 series is made in the Yamagata factory in Japan. I've been there many, many moons ago, and I can tell you what they do there is um, comparable to haute horlogerie in terms of the way they condition the rooms, the way they finish the products, the attention to detail, the, um, the obsessiveness with uh, perfection. Very Japanese, you might say, yes, and that's a good thing, when it comes to watches. At the Yamagata factory, only the high-end G-Shock watches are being made. And now this one is in the lower spectrum because you can also get the 8,000 euros and up crazy hand hammered stuff. I'll get, uh, I'll get to the slimness of this watch. Although slimness is of course a very uh, relative uh, thing when it comes to uh, chunky G-Shocks. But anyway, the size, it is, well, it's it's a little over five centimeters in, in diameter and in length, and it's just over 12 millimeters in height, and it weighs two grams shy of 150 grams. That's 148 grams. That's not crazy heavy, but it's also not crazy light. Evolutionary 3000 series is three millimeters, three whole millimeters thinner than the 2000 series. And how is that possible? 
It's because there's a new module inside the 3000 series. The new Casio 5672 module is the brain of the new 3000 series. So what does it do? Well, everything you can think of in regards to a high-end Casio G-Shock. So you have the the Bluetooth, the um, 27 time zones, the perpetual calendar until 2099. And um, you can connect it, of course, to the app in your mobile phone. I hit a little bit of a problem because the watch is so new, it is not yet available in the app. But you can also manually set it to the right time and everything. It might take some time to figure that out, but since we're talking G-Shocks, this is not going to be your first G-Shock, I guess. So uh, you'll probably get the hang of it pretty quickly. Having said that about this not being your very first G-Shock, I actually believe that the specs and the looks and also the price could well attract people who don't have a G-Shock yet. As I said earlier, it is a serious watch. The MTGB 3000 in this colorway is a very serious watch, not because of the traditional colorway, but also because of the traditional dial layout. It looks more or less like a traditional chronograph. So it's not the biggest surprise or piece of extravaganza to get used to. I already told you the price of 1100 euros and that's the price for this one and also for a black version that's already on the market. But since I told you about the Blue Phoenix and my love for spectacularly colored G-Shocks, I can't wait and I'm sure that they will come for the wildly colored B3000 models. Um, they're going to be wild, but because of the reduced height, the added comfort, they're also going to be very comfortable. What do you think? Is the MTG B3000 Slim Carbon series still bonkers enough to be a G-Shock? Or is it now too traditional to still have that crazy G-Shock spirit? I'm thinking it's a perfect mix of two. I think this is the product of evolution. And come on, be honest. The design is still wild enough to tell everybody in your surroundings that you're wearing a G-Shock. Anyway, tell me what you think. Too serious? Still bonkers enough? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, like and subscribe and be back soon.